is problem one on practice exam four of chapter two in the book Problem Solving with Differential and Integral Calculus. We messed around with the exponential function. We showed that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x dx. That is the slope of e to the x versus x is e to the x. Part A, derive the derivative of e to the minus x, b, e to the 2x, and c, e to the x plus 2. And then we have to check these answers for the slope at x equals 0 by picking two points on the line and getting the slope of the line that connects them and showing that it's about the slope at 0. So part A, what's the derivative of e to the minus x? Well, we're going to change x a little bit. And then we're going to subtract the function to get the difference. So instead of x, we have x plus dx. Everywhere we see an x, we're substituting in x plus dx, and then we're subtracting the function. That's the difference. That's what the derivative is. We have this exponent here. We're going to assume that you know how to multiply, ex uh, manipulate exponents. So now we have an e to the minus x in both terms. We can factor it out, and we get e to the x times the quantity e to the minus dx minus 1. What the heck is e to the minus dx? We want that as a linear function of dx. So we know what the infinite series is. It's that. It goes on to infinity. It's true for any x. If x is small, we can throw out the higher order terms. If x is 10 to the minus 9, then x squared is 10 to the minus 18. And if you add 10 to the minus 9 to 10 to the minus 18th, you get, for all intents and purposes, 10 to the minus 9th. And dx is infinitesimal. So it's not an approximation. So e to the minus dx is equal to 1 minus dx. So we can substitute that in to our derivative, which is right here. So for e to the minus dx, we're putting in 1 minus dx. We have 1 minus dx minus 1. That's just minus dx. So the derivative of e to the minus x is e to the minus x dx. To get the slope, we just divide both sides by dx. The slope of the line of e to the minus x versus x is minus e to the minus x. And we're going to show that later. We're going to confirm that later. Part B asks for the derivative of e to the 2x. So wherever we see an x, we're going to substitute x plus dx, and then we're going to subtract the function to get the difference when you change x by a little bit. So again, we're going to write the exponent like that. We're going to factor out e to the 2x, and we get this. Now we have to know what e to the 2dx is. Well, we have an infinite series. x is small. 2dx is also infinitesimal, just like dx. So we plug in 2x to this, 2dx to this series, and we throw out all higher order terms. We could put this back into our derivative. We get 1 plus, d, plus 2dx minus 1. That's just 2dx. So this is the derivative of e to the 2x. It's 2 e to the 2x dx. And we can get the slope by dividing by dx. Slope of the e to the 2x versus x is 2 e to the 2x at any x. Part C, the derivative of e to the x plus 2. Again, for this x right here, we're going to substitute in x plus dx. Looks like this. I'm going to subtract the function. There's three things we're adding here, so we can write it like that. We have an e to the x and an e squared. We can factor them out, and then we get this. We have to know what e to the dx is, but we know that, right? It's 1 plus dx. Substitute that into our derivative. We get this. 1 plus dx minus 1 is just dx. And I'm going to write e to the x times e squared as x plus 2, and that's the derivative. The derivative of e to the x plus 2 is e to the x plus 2 dx. To get the slope, we put the dx on the other side. So the slope of e to the x plus 2 versus x is e to the x plus 2. 
uh, if you're remembering rules in calculus, uh, this is e to the x times e squared. So e squared is just a constant. It's just a number. So they say e squared goes along for the ride. It's there at the beginning. It's there at the end. We like to figure it out. So now part D asks us to confirm our answers for the slope. So we're going to get the slope of a straight line from x equals 0 to x equals 0 0.001. Two points close together on the line. So our expression for the slope of a plot of e to the minus x versus x is the derivative, which is minus e to the minus x. That's the slope. We're going to check this answer. First, we plug in 0 to get the slope at 0. If x equals 0, e to the minus x is 1, and there's a minus sign out front, that's minus 1. So we get minus 1 for the slope at x equals 0. It's heading down with a slope of minus 1. The value of the function. So this is the slope. This is the function itself. This is what we're plotting. You have to keep them, keep them straight. They look alike, but this is the function. So we plug in 0 here. e to the 0 is 1. And then we plug in 0 0.0001. We're moving over 0 0.001 from 0. We plug this in. e to the minus 0 0.001 is 0.999000. So now we're going to get the slope of the line that connects these two points that are very close together. It's the change in the function divided by the change in x. The change in x is easy. It's 0 0.001. We went from 0 to 0 0.001. To get the change in the function, the rise, we just subtract the final minus the initial. So that's minus, this minus 1 is 0 0.000995. This thing is really close to minus 1. And we're happy about that because that's what we got for the slope at 0. This is the slope of a line that connects two points very close to 0. So they should be the same. Let's look at a plot and see what it looks like. This is the function itself. It's going down. The run is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 to plus 0.1 and it looks like about 1.11, and that's about 0.91. So 0.91 minus 1.11 is minus 0.2. Minus 0.2 over plus 0.2 is minus 1. That's the slope of that line. And note that we're using the 0 0.001, which is really small in here. This is 0.1. So we went 1 one hundredth of the way from here to here with that x. All right. Next one, the slope of a plot of 2 e to the 2x versus x is 2 e to the 2x. So what's the slope at 0? e to the, e to the 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So at x equals 0, the slope should be 2. And we're going to check that by getting two points really close together. So e to the 2x, if we plug in 0, e to the 0 is 1. If we plug in e to the 2 times 0 0.001, which is e to the 0 0.002, we get 1.002002. The slope of the line that connects these two points, again, the run is the same, 0 0.001, and the rise is, this is the final value, 1.002002 minus 1, and that is very close to 2, because it's 0 0.002 divided by 0 0.001. And that's what we got for the value at 0. And here's a plot. So this is 1.2, that's 1.25. Looks like about halfway, so that's 1.225. This also looks like about halfway, 0.825. And the run is the whole thing, which is 0.2. 1.225 minus 0.825 is 0.4. 0.4 divided by 0.2 is 2, which is confirms our previous answers. Now, derivative of x plus 2. So the expression for the slope, we calculated that to be the slope. If we plug in 0, we get e squared. e squared is 7.389 whatever. 
Okay, so the value of the function if we plug in x equals zero is this. If we plug in 0 0.001, we get e to the 2.001, which is this. So we, these are very close together. We can subtract them to get the change in y, the vertical change, and the delta x is 0 0.001. So we subtract them, and we get 7.39. And we're happy with that because this is 7.389. And we can look at a slope, a plot, and calculate the slope. This is a little bit less than 8.2. You can call it whatever you want, 8.17, something like that. It's a little bit less than halfway there. This is 6.5, that's 6.6. .6. This is almost to 6.7, so I'm going to call it 6.69. And if we get that, get that rise, Divide by 0.2, we get 7.4, and that's the slope, about 7.4. That's the slope, about 7.4. So everything seems to work.